Hello everybody, this is Taff coming in with another Taff's Word and uh, this one is uh, quite suitably lay, uh, labelled as uh, Stopped the Rot but that doesn't really give a clear indication of the current performance levels of Newport County um, it was a battling performance on the weekend um, obviously no doubt about that uh, we battled for a point against a very good Notts County team but they didn't have the best their best of games I, I'm quite certain that many of their supporters would say that wasn't anywhere near their best of performances so far this season. They, they might arguably say that one of their best was when they beat us 3-0 at their place, but that was aided by one of the worst refereeing decisions I've seen this season so far by sending off Dan Butler for merely jumping for the ball. But there we go, that game was then, this one was now. and we ne the, only, the problem I had is that we never really looked like a threat in front of goal. Um, the only time we did is when we put the ball in the net and then there was a foul against the keeper. But there's going to be a blog coming up with regards to what is a foul coming up um, around at the same time as this one will be uploaded. Um, so, Newport County, where do we go from here? Well, where we go is pretty much uh, Port Vale. Uh, we drew against Port Vale at home um, at a time when they weren't doing too well, but... They had a change in management, and it was one of his first games, if I recall. Uh, we're going to need to be better, uh, but we. But I, I get. I, I feel like when we travel well on the road, um, we tend to play pretty well in front of a good crowd away. Um, it was a decent crowd, but not a great crowd at Colchester. But Port Vale has got to be a good one. I'm anticipating at least four hundred um, uh, of the of the Amber Army. Are going to be traveling so um, I'm hoping that it's going to be uh, a great game for us um, I think we picked we picked up a lot of good points on the road um, I think we need to pick up three now if we want to be considered for playoffs but uh, we've got 14 games left or is it 13 games now I believe 14 13 I'm trying to think now I believe it's 13 games left um, only five of them being away the rest of them being at home um, it's like I say it's going to be a bit of an ask now because of the amount of points we are away from the playoffs we're about 5 or 6 points away from there at the moment and like I say uh, we we got some tough home games coming up we don't really have many tough away games I believe that all the away games now uh, I think we're playing the bottom 3 at home or 3 of the bottom whatever away we're playing Chesterfield, we're playing Barnet, so the bottom two at least. We're playing Yeovil away. We've got Port Vale now, we're down the bottom end. And um, other than that, who else? Carlisle we've got. And... Um, I can't think of the other one is. Or if I just labelled them all. So Barnet, Port Vale, Carlisle. Um, yeah, Barnet, Port Vale, Carlisle, Chesterfield. And you'll, yeah, so that's the, that's the five actually. So I had it right the first time. They're the five away games. So I'd imagine there's a possibility of about seven to nine points on the road there, possibly more, um, maybe nine to ten points at least we could get on the road there. And then the rest of the games are at home. So I fancy, I always fancy our chances at home. I think the pitch ain't looking too great, but I think that's down to the, the rugby teams. Although I'm not going to moan too much because um, the Welsh Rugby Union are proactive and working with us. They're collaborative, so I'd imagine that the problems we had with Ronnie Parade before aren't happening behind the scenes right now. So uh, that's a good thing, a really good thing. Um, moving on to the, uh, the, the Tottenham crowd and the Leeds crowd and the, the former Wembley crowds of old. And then obviously the Great Escape crowd. Um, we increased our support during the Great Escape. I think people felt the need to come over and support Flinny and the boys and they did so in their numbers and as the results started pouring in, so did the attendances start rising. I think obviously we sold out, I think it was about just under 7,000 for the Notts County game. Uh, no, I think in total there was about 6,500 home fans. Um, where are these people now? Seven and a half thousand went to Wembley, and we had just over three thousand home fans. So half of the people that went to Wembley on the Tuesday night didn't go to the next home game. I just don't know what 
the club need to do to get these people to come and follow us on a more regular basis. Now, I'm not saying that every single person that went to Wembley automatically has to start coming to every single game from here on in. Obviously, the people who came to the Tottenham home game, I mean, we had eight and a half thousand home fans, nearly. Well, we had just over eight, at least just over eight thousand. Seven, uh, nearly seven and a half thousand went down to Wembley. We've had thirteen thousand at Wembley once before, and we had seven and a half thousand when we went there with um, what's their faces, uh, Wrexham in the playoff final. So, what's stopping these people coming back? Because I, I just don't know. I mean, they wanted to come and watch County against Tottenham. They've seen some remarkably great occasions in the last decade. Well, since two thousand and ten. Well, the 9 season ended with promotion to the conference. Then the 12-13 season ended with promotion to League 2. But we had a trip to Wembley in between there. Well, two trips to Wembley. And then we've had Football League football for a fifth season now. And during which time we have had some cup games, some decent cup games, where we've turned out some good crowds. So the potential for people to turn up is there. It's just the incentive. How are we going to get these people to come back? I'm, I'm thinking, well... You've been part, you know, just a lot of these people would have only turned up for these occasions. But even if they've only turned up for one of them, you know, it's a special occasion for the club. And you've been part of that. So, well, why would these people not realise that if they made their support a bit more of a regular thing, then the club would get the money behind them to push forward and maybe get more of these days? You know, we need everybody. I mean, end of the day, the community of Newport puts its time and effort and money into teams from communities from elsewhere. So London, Manchester, Liverpool, Leeds, you know, cities like that, Birmingham even, you know. Um, everyone's putting a lot of time and effort into clubs coming from these cities. But their community is being looked after by their local club, Newport County. I mean, look look at the um, um, the 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 Tim Payne ticket. That's what I was trying to spit out there. The Tim Payne ticket scheme, and I think it was something like five hundred twenty one kilograms of food that they were able to to raise, you know, for for, for Newport's community. You know, um, hospital visits to go and see sick people, sick fans, and children. You know, school visits, you know, actively getting out there into the community on a regular basis. You know, so Newport County is doing a lot for the community in Newport. But unfortunately, the community in Newport are dedicating themselves to teams from other communities. Now, there's nothing wrong with having two teams. I know plenty of people who have their, their glitz glam team. I've always liked Liverpool. Um, the people out there like Man United, Man City, Tottenham, Arsenal, Chelsea and all the others. And but the thing is, this all go over the county. Now I don't think your multi-million pound company, you know, who you support, that, technically that's what it is. A multi-million pound company is these are. We're a football club that gets by on small amounts of money. So we're a football club. They're a franchise. So so your franchise club won't mind you going and watching your local club. They're not going to mind. At the end of the day, you're a tourist to them anyway. You've got their local regulars there. Will look at you as a tourist. You know they'll treat you as one of their own. Oh yeah, put your money into my club, and then you know when your backs turn, ah fucking tourists, you know, and and they don't like you. And it's as simple as that. They don't like you. They don't like outsiders following their club because, you know, you 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 don't get the the quality of support when tourists are going to watch their football club. I'm not saying that people would go there wouldn't support those clubs, but what I'm saying is, come to a club would actually mean something. You know, your local club. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to really go right off the rails on this one. I've been, you know, people know, watch these blogs on a regular basis. Now, I'm quite very passionate I am about this subject. But what I want to see is Newport County thrive. The support is out there. It's just a matter of people giving the county a chance on a more regular basis. And, and you know, I'm, I'm the Notts County game had to give you the bug. And if not, between the Tottenham games and the Leeds game, you got the bug. If the two Wembley trips didn't do it for you in the first place, surely something's got to give with this. And the way that this club are going to push forward is if these people start supporting the club. Anyway, that's by the by. Um, look, guys, we're in the we're, we're heading towards the back end of the season. 
I mean, we're a game or two away from the point that Flynn took over last year. So uh, be looking at, um, I think it's March the 9th. I might be wrong about that. But then that's what, what we're going to be calling the uh, the Flynnniversary. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for that one. We're going to make a bit of a big deal of that. I, I, I think we should do at least anyway. Because that was the turning point for this club. Michael Flynn as manager, bang. The, the club just transforms. So yeah, it's great. Fan zone is working for us now. Uh, we've got a great manager. We've got a great squad. We're getting, we're getting, play, we're getting there now. We could look like we could be going places. So, I think we got to keep supporting the club, keep the negativity down, keep the positivity up, and actually help the club over the line into that playoff spot for the for, you know, for the end of the season. And if not, and if we stick to roughly where we are now, we got to look at it as an achievement because it's been such a massive step forward from last year. I mean, technically, people calling for playoffs thinking that we should be finishing it. Maybe that is an overachievement for us. And if we don't get there, we shouldn't be complaining too much. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching again, as always. Um, getting more and more great comments. You know, it's great. I love these great comments. Uh, it actually makes me want to do this. Not so much for me. It's, this isn't an ego thing for me. I hate watching my own blogs back. I don't watch them. I, don't, I hate the sound of my own voice. But people tend to enjoy what I've got to say. So I'll put it out there for you guys, not for me. And um, because you're enjoying it, it's the only reason why I'm doing it, you know, because you know, people are taking time out to come and tell me that I'm doing something good and they enjoy it. So I'll keep putting them out. So thanks again, guys. And uh, yeah, until the next time, cheerio for now. We'll see you in Port Vale, up the county.